everyone welcome to knowledge center uh, today we shall discuss about the mesh analysis so as name indicates a mesh is nothing but it's a closed part okay it's a closed parameter in a circuit so we have two important parameters in a circuit that is loop and a mesh so first i will clarify what actually the difference between the loop and a mesh then later on i'll give an expression for you to uh, which is going to give you an idea about how many meshes we are going to get in a circuit so for that let us take one example uh, let us have a network electrical network with some resistances and a source so let me take uh, what so name is as source 1 v1 i'll just give some names for them v2 resistance r1 r2 and r3 so in this circuit the number of loops what we can represent are i can represent one loop in this and name it as l1 same way i can represent another loop in this l2 and there is no restriction that we should have the same kind of a direction in a loop okay so that is the next in further classes i'll give in details about the directions of a loop and we have another option here this is the third option i start from this point and i will end over there so this is a third loop i have a, i have taken it in a dotted lines so there is one important point about that so let's like come to that come back so this is number of nodes again i so identify the number of nodes in this circuit so this is node number 1 node number 2 node number 3 and this is the node number 4 and we name this as a reference node okay so we have totally four nodes and how many loops i have one two and this external this is the third loop say so name, name this as l3 so now let's identify first what is loop and mesh so mesh is nothing but it is we can define it as a smallest loop smallest loop in a circuit so in this circuit what are the smallest loops we have smallest loop is nothing but a loop in which you can't get another loop a loop within which we can't get another loop that is the smallest loop and that is called mesh so here l2 c within this i can't get another loop so this i consider as a mesh even within this i can't get another loop so this is also termed as a mesh whereas if i consider loop 3 within this whole loop i can get two different loops so this l3 cannot be considered as a mesh that is why i have just represented with a dotted lines okay so number of meshes i can write here as 2 whereas number of loops in the circuits are Three. That is the difference. And we are discussing about a mesh analysis, so you should identify number of meshes, not a loop. So mesh is nothing but the smallest loop in the circuit within which I can't find another loop. That is called a mesh. And now I'll give you one formula to find the number of mesh. So that is something like this. So number of mesh, or in other words, we can say it is the smallest loop, L, or you can say number of equations number of equations in a mesh analysis or you can also write it as a number of loops okay that's what already i have mentioned here so i can say number of mesh or number of equations for that the formula is b minus n minus 1 but close the bracket if i expand it if i remove the bracket it will be b minus n plus 1 i hope you all remember this uh, expression this is going to give you how many number of uh, independent loops mesh is nothing but i have mentioned l but you should be very careful l is nothing but it also it also represents loop we can write it as a uh, number of independent loop so there is a difference between just loop and independent loop this is independent loop this is independent loop but this loop is not independent it is going to have two in, inside that so i can't consider l3 as an independent loop so you can say number of independent loops how to find number of independent loops use this how to find number of meshes use this how to find number of equations in a network use this so we take the same example number of branch b stands for branch n stands for nodes so how many branches we have 1 2 3 4 5 5 this portion we cannot consider it as a branch so five branches we have so 5 Minus one, two, three, and four. We have four nodes. Four minus one. Close the bracket. So five minus four minus one. So four minus one is three. 
5 minus 3 is 2. So I got two independent loops or two meshes or two equations. That's what we got it here. So for any complicated circuit, you can use this expression, this formula to find out the number of independent loops. So I hope it is very clear for you. If it is clear, just like the video, comment on it and subscribe to this channel to get a more further videos. Thank you.